Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Denim Vixen. It's Kathy, and it's kind of a dreary day today, so I've got the spotlights working. But I'm going to do a review on the unique Moodstruck 3D Fiber Lashes today. This is kind of a follow-up review to one I did a while ago on the um, Love Alpha Fiber Lashes. Um, in that review, I'll put the link below if you want to see a comparison. But that was basically um, wondering if the Love Alpha Fiber Lashes were comparable to the unique I actually had not tried these yet so today I'm gonna try them with you I'm gonna do a demo and a review and let you know how I feel about them unique fiber lashes come in this really really neat case and I think you could probably even reuse this case it's almost like a, um, a glasses case so maybe when I'm done with these I'll use them for my glasses because I'm always losing my glasses and and who doesn't need a good glasses case and plus I have readers galore all over my house in addition to my regular glasses because I am going blind in my old age but once you open up the case you get two neat tubes inside as you can see there now here are the two tubes one is the transplanting gel, and these are the magic fibers. Okay, I don't know if they're really called magic fibers, I'm just calling them that. So the transplanting gel looks a lot like mascara. It's just a basic black mascara. And then the fibers look like dryer lint, but black dryer lint. So this one's a really dry, a dry product right here. So the way this works is I'm going to take the gel and I'm gonna apply it first. I'm gonna go back with the fibers and then I'm gonna go back again with the gel. So let's see. I'm gonna do one eye and then we can do a comparison. Okay, so here's the first step. I'm going to apply the transplanting gel. I guess that's what it's called. I'm just calling it that. And I'm just gonna apply it like mascara. And so far, it actually is going on really smoothly, like mascara. Now I'm going back with the fibers, and we're just gonna apply this while the gel is still wet. Now, according to the instructions I read, if you put it on a little too liberally, the fibers may um, fall into your eyes, and you don't want the fibers to fall into your eyes. So they say it's better just to put on a very thin layer of the fibers. As you can see, I'm kind of going crazy right now. But um, you'll have better results perhaps if you do more than one um, coat. Okay, so I've got the fibers on. I'm going back with the gel. And this, I believe, is where the magic happens. Watch how it just grabs onto those fibers and elongates those lashes. Okay. So this is just my first coat. So now you can see here is my mood struck eye and just my regular eye. As you can see, there is quite a dramatic difference. I'm gonna go back with a second coat because I kind of want to get that false lash look. So let's take a look and see how that goes. I'm gonna put just another coat of these fibers on right on top of that lash layer of the gel. All right, I'm having a little tiny bit of fiber fall out, but that's okay. I can clean that up real easy. Back with the gel. What do you think? Can you see the difference? I can see a difference. And yes, I think it really does look a lot like false lashes without all the fuss. Now, 
If I have my eyelash comb, I go back through and kind of brush it through to kind of get rid of the clumps. I mean, because it is a little clumpy because I kind of was going crazy with the fibers, but I don't have it with me. However, um, if I were just doing this for a regular evening out or a day or whatever, I would definitely put this on and then I would comb through it with a lash brush. But you can really see how well this works. I'm gonna do the other eye, then I'll come back and I'll give you the full effect. Okay, so what do you think? You wanna know what I think? I think they look really, really good. I um, think they look almost like lash extensions, but without having to go in and have them put on, and then of course spending the money to get them put on, I think this is a great, great alternative. I also think they're a nice alternative to false lashes. I'm not really good at applying false lashes. I actually did a video on how to put them on and um, to put them on really easy, and even that still wasn't that easy. I still was struggling to get them on straight, but um, these are really, really nice. I don't know that I'll ever use false lashes again. These look long. They look a little more natural than false lashes, but I, I could put it on in less than five minutes as opposed to going and getting extensions, which, you know, that requires an appointment and going and getting it done and then having it filled every month or putting on the false lashes, which for me that takes about 30 minutes. So, and of course I think it is definitely um, a step up from regular mascara. So you can see the difference. I will link the video that I did on the Love Alpha below and you can compare. And those of you who um, commented on that video who said there was no comparison, you know what, you're right, there isn't a comparison. <laughs> These are way nicer. Now, the one thing about them is they do cost a little more than the Love Alpha. The Love Alphas, I wanna say, are about $8 for a set. These were about $30 for a set, plus I paid for shipping. And I also purchased these through an independent sales rep. If you would like to try these and you don't have an independent sales rep, I will link you to Melissa's website. I'll put that link below. And you can go on and you can look and see what she has. She um, makes it so easy. You just click on it like you're just ordering from a catalog and then they ship straight to you from the warehouse. And these got to me in less than three days. I wanna say they got to me in two days. So they're really, really fast. You can get to your eyelashes really, really fast. I ordered these through Melissa because a friend of mine through work was having a birthday bash. And um, it was like a party where she could uh, invite her friends to buy any of the products through Unique and then she got to earn points. You know, it's like one of those, um, you know, a lot of those, those companies that have the independent sales reps. But um, I figured that I would help her out, then I would help out um, her friends. And not only did I help them out, they helped me out because I have fabulous lashes. So it was a win-win situation for all of us. So if you are looking for some fabulous lashes that are really easy, really quick to put on with amazing results, definitely check out these unique Moodstruck 3D Fiber Lashes. I purchased these with my own money. I'm doing this out of the goodness of my heart, trying to help um, them out, but also just to show you what you can do and um, I'm so impressed. So if this was a product you're thinking about buying, I hope this video helped. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you like my channel, feel free to subscribe. And I hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.